Hello and welcome to Making Joyful Noise, brought to you by beautiful St. Paul Lutheran Church in downtown Sarasota, Florida. My name is John Ferreira. I am the Director of Music Ministries and the organist at the church. On Sunday, January 16th, 2022, our sending hymn is going to be What Feast of Love. It The words are absolutely perfect for the liturgy of the day. The melody everybody will know. It's based, or you'll, or, or you'll know it, has a Christmas carol. The Christmas carol being, what child is this? At this point, I want to dispel a myth. In some textbooks and in some articles that I've read, it says that the text of the Green Sleeves was originally written by King Henry VIII. You know, the guy with six wives. Anyway, um, that's really impossible. King Henry VIII died in 1547. The original sonnet that was put to the music was written in 1584. The familiar tune, it's called Green Sleeves, is based on a love sonnet or a love poem from a picture of this woman called My Lady Greensleeves. And she's wearing a very elaborate gown. She, we only see her from the top up. And she's wearing flowers along her, her, her arms. And her sleeves of her dress are green, green sleeves. And apparently back then that was like, hmm, short sleeves, huh? What's going on here? Well, anyway, the tune was was named Green Sleeves, and it, it was it was known during the Elizabethan era, actually, because Shakespeare, um, when he wrote The Merry Wives of Windsor, hmm, again, Henry VIII, remember that? Um, Princess Ford in there, she refers to the tune of Green Sleeves. And in Falstaff, Shakespeare again, there's a quote. And he says, let the sky rain potatoes and let it thunder to the tune of green sleeves. So that's just saying that the song was already well known at that time. We're going to be listening today to a different version of it. Uh, I want you to hear this young man play the, it's called a hop guitar. It's a regular guitar with six strings and right above it, there are six longer strings that sound like a hop, and they have their own sounding hole while the guitar maintains its own sounding hole. The guitar strings can be plucked or stopped. The hop strings can't. Let's take a quick listen. You'll hear the hop. That's the guitar. I'm going to jump ahead here. Now, the bottom notes, the lower notes, are the hop the hop guitar, and it goes right into it. Isn't that beautiful? Sunday, January 16th. Watch us on Facebook, 9.30 a.m. on Sunday. Or better still, come and join us and sing along with us. Thank you for listening. <laughs>